Hi everyone, this is Pam with Eye Candy Scraps and it is Thirsty Thursday and I have a um, card making tutorial for you. This is card um, one out of the Partridge in a Pear Tree, the sorry not Partridge in a Pear Tree, the Pear and Partridge card making workshop on the go gift kit from close to my heart so stay tuned and we will make this card. For card number one, you're, of course you're going to need your card and your stamp set and then we're going to need two I believe, of the Glimmer Gems and your olive ink, your cranberry and your cocoa. And now the instructions I read briefly it says to tie seven inch ribbon in a bow and attach the card. Well, I don't know about you, but I've never had to use seven inches to tie a bow. So we'll just go, we'll just wing it when we go to tie the bow. But, and then you will need your four and a half, four, four and a half ribbon to, you know, put on the card as it is shown here. and the paper. You're just going to need the B&T paper and the cranberry. So I'll go ahead and get everything all cut up and we will start our card. Forgot to add that you are going to need your colonial white paper. I made all the what you're going to need videos for the cards and I didn't use the colonial white paper but Yes, you will need your the colonial white cardstock that came with the kit to make all of these cards. So I'm going to go ahead and start making our card for the day. Okay, to, <clears throat> to get started on this card, what you're going to do is you're going to take the stamp that says Merry Christmas and you're going to second generate it, which I'm, and I started it but I left a few of the lines to show you how to do it for those of you who don't know. It's rather time consuming to, to do it over and over and over on camera, you know, for YouTube because, you know, there's only so much time. So I'm just going to briefly go over it and take this so I don't make any more goofs. And I did, for, on one of them, I did forget to second generate it, which is really, really dark right there, which that is okay because that's actually in placement where we're going to um, be putting things as well as the little bit that I got there somehow. Okay, so how to do a second generation is you ink up your your pad and then you stamp it, stamp it once on some scratch paper. And when you're doing it this way where you're making a pattern, you just start and then go your line. And for this one, I'm actually taking it and I am lining it up between the two Y's underneath here, just like that. And then so forth to make my, my pattern. You just kind of do it a little bit random, but it's just, you know, strategically random to start out with. And there we have it. We got our pattern going, and that is the first step. We're going to stamp image two 
which is the one that reads wishing you a Merry Christmas no wishing you a happy holiday season go ahead and ink it up really good we're going to stamp image <coughs> to <coughs> which is the wishing you a happy holiday season on our white colonial cardstock. So I'm going to go in frame just to make sure I get it centered. But I'm trying to use my lines on my thing. It may help if I have it lined up. Okay. Next, we're going to take our cranberry and we're going to stamp image four and five, which are the two smaller gifts in cranberry. Now, I just put them on the stamp instead of stamping them individually just to save time. And then in olive, we're going to do the other one. Which on your sheet, it says it is stamp three. And voila. Then we're going to sponge all of the images with cocoa. I mean, not the images, all of the pieces of paper. Now it is time to put it all together. So, we're going to add 1A to 1B. Use the ribbon here to help with you know, placement of this. Now we're going to just put it all together. Okay, we're going to take our ribbon. And to add here the ribbon, I'm just going to take the ATG and go right just next to the green. A couple times. I'm just going to put it right on there. Just like so. And then check it. And then trim it. Because I didn't measure it. There. Then we're going to take and tie a bow. Okay, so we're going to tie our bow. And as I stated before, we're not going to need the amount that is. Well, some do, some might. I don't, so. Okay. 
Okay, we've got our bow tied. Snip the edges. put on my tacky glue, which actually I think works really good when you have to actually glue on fabric. And then we're just going to place our bow. And then get our gems. and place them on. And there we go. This is card one out of the, the pear and partridge workshop on the go Christmas card making kit. So. Be sure to check out my blog and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome, cool Christmas projects that I have in mind. So, you guys all have a wonderful day and happy scrapping.